Okay, this is day eight of my heterophobic attack. Uh, basically, day seven was um, full of gaslighting events. Now, um, basically, these were um, people. I was in a situation. I'll keep it very vague because I don't want to really reveal anything. Um, so basically, they were just trying to um, make out like I was making errors by sabotaging yeah to reach that end so somebody will sabotage something i'm touching to try and make it look like i made an error so i started to see the signs of sabotage and uh, obviously raise the alarm yeah and um so that the, the sabotage didn't material materialize um for them to claim um that i had made an error yeah so you react to it once you see the signs of it's forming you react to it yeah and um i've managed i think i've done well but we'll see the reaction on day eight yeah so it seems to be something like that uh these are frangers a stranger is a stranger who's friendly not a frenemy a frenemy is a friend who becomes an enemy but this is a if it's a stranger somebody you know nothing about you have no stake in their life some strangers are the most important people in your life yeah because of what jesus brings jesus um because when you know Jesus, you understand that out there, everybody's worried about someone, some something. Nobody, some of them are out to get you, but everybody's concerned about something. Everybody's, they should be. If they're not, they should be. <laughs> if And if they're not, then, you know, those are not really a problem. Because um, sooner or later, the, the, the people who are after them, the people who hate them, will get them if they don't concern themselves with, with, with those who hate them yeah so everybody out there should be worried about somebody yeah so knowing that there's other t targeted individuals means that you know we kind of prove that yeah they, we, we're all out there and we're all being victimized yeah so uh although it's scary just know that other people also have those who hate them and that's how it works um you know it's sad but it's true so um it might be a stranger but there are some strangers who've chosen different lifestyles and they want us to all look at life the way they look at it and i'm like well i can't look at it like that because you know i've validated myself i've got achievements in my life that prove that my way of looking at life is also valid so i'm fighting for my um myself my existence my beliefs yeah and i chose to be heterosexual because i found myself heterosexual and i never wanted to change that so i i program myself um rather than having other people program me because um if you don't program yourself every time you go out street somebody's trying to program you for one reason or another they might be trying to program you to become um gay as in my case they might be trying to program you to become a a killer of some kind they might be trying to program you to become a thief trying to program you to become a um uh, some kind of other profession yeah so we're all being programmed for different reasons but i choose to program myself to be straight the programming that i see out there on, on the road um is designed to turn people um gay so i stay out of um mainstream programming and i concentrate on programming myself to remain straight because that's my chosen um, path i don't want somebody to manipulate my mind and then go into my critical layer and then my subconscious starts to think that i'm gay when i'm i know i'm not so i watch what goes into my subconscious when i'm looking at things um i talk to myself yeah to to try and explain to my subconscious what you're seeing there yeah i never allow my subconscious to think that it's something that i didn't choose so i take that control so these strangers maybe they've chosen a, a swagging lifestyle a gay lifestyle and uh they they hope i'll be i'll be part of that i'm sorry i'm not part of that i don't swag i don't i'm completely straight i don't i don't do the bisexual i don't do the homosexual i don't do transsexual i'm completely straight yeah i'm not um gonna do something that i don't want to do and i, I will not allow myself to be manipulated to do that um so i suppose by them getting angry that i won't switch that type of lifestyle they've started to um kind of like um gaslight and gang stalk me yeah to harass my life because i'm not somebody they want around my new song strangers might have is referring to that damn and that should have spit on the mic <laughs> there's no mic <laughs> no um so um my new my new vi uh, video um no my new songs touches on that and i'll release it soon yeah um i'm listening to it right now i'm trying to master it so i'm a bit distracted so otherwise day seven went um well i managed to see most of the things intellectual attack um and now day eight uh, is about to start 
and uh, let's just hope it's a it's a better day for us yeah and so hang on in there if you're under the same kind of heterophobic attacks yeah we'll gather up um i've got a blog that i'm setting up and um, we, we can share our stories there uh, but just bear with me i'm going through this this attack myself uh, and i'll try and advise you if i can sometimes you, you you know you can't say anything to them until they address you direct yeah because you'll be accused of being homophobic so you have to wait until somebody addresses you direct but if they're meandering around like that behind the scenes there's really nothing you can do you just suspect it's gonna be that yeah but until you've got evidence you can't you can't really do nothing about it yeah so this is just somebody who can't confront you because you've already told them where you stand yeah so um keep posted i'm gonna um keep my videos short because obviously i'm not online and you can see yeah that's me when i try to connect online yeah connection problem you see what i mean yeah um so this is not a stunt or anything like that they've cut my internet it's now day eight <laughs> yeah so uh let's be there for each other let's say no and let's stop these heterosexual attacks